Hello everybody, welcome back once again. We've got another quick Octopath Traveler 2 video for you here. Uh, this time we are starting out in Conning Creek. And this is uh, this quest is available right after Oswald's final chapter is completed. Uh, and this is Lady Clarissa's next chapter. So let's get this started. Uh, I am going to just skip through this, this dialogue. And what we need to do here... Oh, look at this. We can scrutinize her. I'm gonna try to mug her. Yeah, she's got some different items here. Ah, I just did the dual off screen there, but you can see she's got the invigorating nut, uh, which is a large one, which is always, you know, good idea to make sure you're grabbing that. But anyways, uh, let's guide her. And we are going to take her down to the feasting village. And there the cutscene plays, which of course I'm just going to skip. These. Thank you for showing me the way. And there we have it. Uh, 9k leaves and the well-worn pole. Let's take a look. Uh, a lot of, or, you know, okay physical attack. Uh, a gigantic amount of elemental attack though, so... Uh, and also says, slim chance to reduce target's elemental defense. That's kind of a big deal. Um, this would be really solid, uh, especially if you've already got the Conjurer class, right? Um, that Conjurer class is going to basically, it's, it's, it's very similar to the, the Rune, is it the Rune Master? Uh, from the first game where uh, you can basically buff your allies and those buffs, uh, like basically every time you use a physical attack, uh, there will be a follow-up attack performed that's elemental based. And so something like this item, which, I mean, not only has an okay amount of uh, physical attack, but also has a, you know, a good amount of elemental attack as well, uh, is going to be a solid weapon. I mean, if you come, or it, yeah, and you're going to do solid damage. Um, combine that, though, with the, the fact that it says slim chance to reduce target's elemental defense, um, that's huge. Um, I'm kind of thinking right now a, a Hikari with this, uh, pole arm and uh, having the ab the ability aggressive thrust uh, is going to be a really good uh, combo. I mean, I suppose really any any you know decent pole arm skill is going to be solid, but uh, aggressive thrust has you know a chance to go from four to eight hits, which should really you know make it so that it it's it's pretty likely that you'll trigger that um, elemental defense down debuff. So. Uh, very good item. Um, but anyways, that is it for this one. As always, hope the guide was helpful, and thanks for watching.